it's time for another boring unboxing video. Let's see what's in this one. It says Fallen Angel on here. It's from China. What does this mean? Oh, well, I guess the game's called Fallen Angel. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see here. Oh, it's not very often that a game is like a game box this big is not the covers this way. Uh, anyhow, um, oh, this person said that they punched everything out for me already. Well, that's interesting. Ooh, what is this? A game that comes with a dice tower. How amazing is that? That's cool. That's cool. That's one way to, to get me to like your game. Well, <laughs> or it better be really good or I'm not, I'm going to be angry that you wasted a dice tower on it. This game comes with little tuck boxes. Well, that's kind of cool. And custom dice. Well, I don't know if this game's any good or not, but the presentation looks pretty neat. Huh. Huh. Well, that's a lot of rules, though. 30 pages of rules. You can be a demon jester, a human paladin, a doomed assassin. Hmm. Well, I have high hopes for this one. And now a small game called Nuked Cards, or that's the company. It's called Nuked Cards LLC. And I bet you the game is called Nuked Cards. Yep. Never name your game company after your only game or first game. Rooting friendships one at a time. You think this is some sort of Cards Against Humanity thing? Um, I still never really understand why games want to brag about that they're ruining friendships. It's like the opposite goal of the Dice Tower. But we'll see. I do like the size of this box. Well, those are pretty neat cards. These are actually pretty cool looking. Nuke. How to play. Two cards worth. You wonder if this is like a take that game? I don't know. Huh, interesting. Dealer. Well, that's cool. Nuked. All right, let's see what's in this box. It's a giant box. It's from Coleman or not, so I'm already assuming it's good. <laughs> it's brown paper. Oh, Arcadia Quest Frost Dragon. Look, this whole box is a dragon with some other stuff. <laughs> All right, oh, Arcadia Quest Pets. And Arcadia Quest Inferno. Uh, you know what, feeling this, I'm a little concerned. I was just thinking about this. My rum and bones is now gonna take two boxes on the shelf and Arcadia Quest is now gonna take at least two boxes. All right, I'm opening up Pets. Don't leave Z. You know you wanna see the koala. <laughs> Oh, they're, they're bad guys, the koalas. That's right, I forgot about that. Aww. Aww. My little pony. That's cool. I'm more pumped about this than I am about the other stuff. Nice, nice, yay. All right, let's see what's in this box here. This one's kind of really uh, tightly put together. There we go. Mothership Tabletop Combat. It's kind of a plain looking box. Ooh, looks much cooler on the back. Then, all right, that looks interesting. Maybe it's a light space game. I'm always looking for one of these, right? Wow, now that looks cool. That is very impressive. Look at that. You can see the, well, the glare of the room, but, huh. Well, I'm certainly interested in looking at this one. Nice, all right. Now we have a small box here from Asthma Day. I'm trying to think what small game I'm interested in trying out from them. Maybe it's one of the... Oh, Dolores. Yeah. <laughs> I talked about this game a long time ago. This has been out for a while, but hey, it's about time I get this one reviewed, right? Cool. All right, now we have an envelope. What could be in here? Another small game. 
blend off. This says KS. That must mean Kickstarter. Blend off is a game of speed and skill. There are no turns. Everyone plays at the same time. Yeah, I've heard that a million times before. We'll see. Uh, I don't need another speed game. Ooh, but a speed game with fruit might be worth it. Okay, well, it looks cool, regardless of if it's good or not. Neat. So that's Blend Off. Hmm, what is in this giant box? My game's got to hang out in the tank before yours with love, Dan. Oh, he's so sweet. Ah, it's the tank. All right, I'll be taking a look at this a little bit later for the... Uh, Oh, this is cool. This is a new Kickstarter. Oh man, Tank is definitely the right name. All right, let's see what's here. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that fearsome box ripping. We'll come back to that. I didn't realize. Castles of Caladale. All right. And Shiba Inu House. All right, these are all renegade games. And these both look really cool. Clank, Sunken Treasures. I'm really pumped about this one. It does not contain, okay. Two-sided game board, 36 cards, market board, five tokens, and rules. Nice. All right, we got to see a little bit of what's inside here. Clank is just one of those games that's really resonated with me lately. Let's look at this board. Is it double-sided? It is double-sided. All right. Cool. I'm very, very excited. Yes. All right. Now let's see what's in this smaller box. What? Candy? From Texas? Texas trash. Well, I'm really cutting back on the candy, but I definitely can share this with my, with Sam and Z and my kids. What is that? A kicker. Hmm, interesting. Yay, thanks for the candy. All right, let's see what's in this thing of a bobber. Something conquest um, with a game room signed promo card. Apparently having a game room is a benefit, I would assume. Oh man, wow, this is some pretty tough plastic. All right. They did not fool around when packaging this game. All right, what do we got here? Cul-de-sac conquest. Well, Basin, these people really like to open their mouths big. Um, again, they make the problem here. I'll never understand why people can't show a picture of the game on the back. I want, you know, if I was at the store and I was buying this, the artwork looks great, but what does the game look like? Let's look. All right. Well, that's an interesting board and cards. Oh, I don't know. This looks like a take that game. Maybe it's not. We'll see. All right. Well, that's called a second. Oh, comes with the rage o meter. I can tell you where my rage is, not seeing the back of the box. Okay, enough of that. So, this is a box here from Nestor. From Nestor Games. I haven't got anything from him in a while, but I always like his stuff. Look, it looks like a bunch of pencil cases, right? But his games can be pretty neat. And you don't know what they are. You can only look at the sides of them. He's the one who published my game, Vicious Fishes. Oh, this one feels good inside. Wait. A game from him that is... Oh, it's, I see. It's not one that he published. It's one that he designed. But it's published by White Goblin. Looks very abstract. Most of his games are. So, huh. Well, I'm kind of curious. Let's open one of these up and look at it. Huh, looks like Tetris style pieces. Well, cool. Well, that's neat. That's from Nestor Games. Another box. What is this? We'll see. Oh, this looks like it's for Sam, not me. What do we got here? Blood Bowl, the Dwarf Giants. Ooh, Sam, I'm touching this. You're not here. All right, what else we got? Ooh, man. Ah! People have been begging us to, to review this sucker forever. Space Hulk. 
Holy cabaloli moly. This is heavy. I would open it now and look inside it, but I'm going to let Sam do that. Because I'm pretty sure if I open this, I would find models that you have to put together. In which case, I would probably not be very happy with that. I have to say, that picture looks pretty cool though. And I've always heard good things about Space Hulk. We'll see. I bet Sam's the one to review this one. All right, let's see what's in this one here. Ooh. Battalia, the creation. Build a deck, construct a map, raise a hero, create a nation. Also known as we put everything in the box. Oh, it has miniatures. It has a guy riding a bear. Oh, a box. Mm. Let's pass this to our expert. Give it. <laughs> she, she's riding a bear and he's riding a bear. It's a big happy family. Ursina Gins. Good quality or not? Uh, decent quality. Components don't look bad. I like the bases too though. The bases are really cool. Well, we'll have to wait and see. All right, now we got a giant box. Can I zoom out? Not much. Is this Gloomhaven? No, it's Brilliance. They sent us four copies because, wow, these things are heavy. Oh, there's miniatures in this too. Will these be as good as the last one? Yeah, that's true. Everything has. Has the fabled KS on it. The fabled KS, the mark of a good game. In the world this is started no that's not my fault huh all right well i do like ant themed games we'll see if this one's any good four times over oh there's a, pass me the miniatures. That means there's a picture in the box yay Wee! anyway folks thanks for watching another boring unboxing video until next time i'm tom vassal this has been a dice tower I was here, see you. oh sorry <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.